The Nokia Lumia Reborn by HMD Skyline. First things first, they be included a 33W fast charger in the box, which is a neat touch. But let us be honest, a higher wattage charger bundled in would be even ideal at this price point. Now, let us talk design. The Lumia Reborn brings back that iconic glass back with aluminum frames very premium. But be ready this phone is on the bulkier side at 8.9mm thick. It definitely gives that sturdy, Nokia feel, but it's a bit chunky in the hand, almost reminiscent of older Lumia models. Is it too bulky? Let us find out as we dive deeper. This device comes with a 6.55-inch AMOLED display featuring a 144Hz refresh rate and Full HD Plus resolution. Smooth, bright, and with Gorilla Glass 3 protection, durability is solid. However, the 1000 nits peak brightness leaves me wishing for more, especially in bright outdoor conditions. Not to mention, the bezel's sharp and noticeable, which is a bit of a letdown. If they de kept it rounder, like some competitors, it could be even a visual delight. But, for display quality overall it's pretty decent. Starstruck. This runs on stock Android. Raising hands you get a bloatware free experience, and as we boot it up, the phone immediately received an update. But hold on the latest security patches from July so we hope the brand keeps its promise of quarterly updates. Nokia S offering two years of major Android updates and three years of security patches so we should be seeing Android 16 in the future. Let us talk performance. The phone is powered by a Snapdragon 7 series chipset. It's solid, but for a phone priced above 30,000 Indian rupees, we were expecting a little more firepower. Phones in this range often come with more powerful Snapdragon 8 series processors, which leaves this Lumia a bit underwhelming. The RAM is LPDDR4X and the storage is UFS 2.2 a bit dated, but still gives a snappy experience with no lags or stutters in daily use. Could Nokia have stepped it up maybe? Smirking face. Now, here s where the Lumia Reborn really shines the camera is set up. You get a 108MP primary sensor with OIS optical image stabilization, a 50MP telephoto lens with 4x optical zoom, and a 13MP ultra-wide lens. On the front, there is a massive 50MP selfie camera and yes, it supports 4K video recording. In daylight, the photos are superb great dynamic range, natural colors, and no unnecessary oversaturation. It's a solid camera system on paper, but can it take on the flagship giants? You will have to see our full camera test video for that. Winking face. So, should you grab the Nokia Lumia Reborn? It's a beautiful comeback for Nokia with solid design and a great camera system, but there are some trade-offs especially in performance and display bezels. But for nostalgic Nokia fans, this could be the one.